Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Marjana's Kitchen, where today we'll be showing you how to make these delicious rainbow bagels. These are my absolute favourite and a great showstopper for any parties or functions. This recipe is super simple and easy to make. You'll be surprised how quick you can make this. You will need the following ingredients. 900 grams of plain flour, two and a half cups of water, two teaspoons of salt, four teaspoons of dried yeast, and some food coloring gels. Add the yeast, salt, and water. Combine the mixture to form a non-sticky dough. It shouldn't be too hard or too stuffy or sticky, but it should be just like a Play-Doh so you can work with it. You're gonna then need to knead the dough for about five minutes on a counter or worktop, or a bread mixer if you've got one for two to three minutes. Weigh the dough mixture and then divide into six equal sized pieces. Once you've finished dividing all your dough pieces, cover with a damp cloth as you don't want to be losing the moisture in the dough. Take a piece of bagel dough and add a few drops of food colouring gel. Knead with your hands as this will give an even colour throughout the dough. Make sure to clean the previous colour off the worktop surfaces. Place a bowl and cover with cling film and set aside in a warm place to prove they should double in size. Repeat this process of all the other doughs and colours. It's probably a good idea now to ask someone else for a bit of help as there's a lot of kneading doing with all these colours. Right, these prove for about 20 to 30 minutes. Once all the colours and the doughs have risen, it's time to start assembling the bagels. We're also trying to figure out which colour goes first. Hmm, that's the order of the rainbow colour. Start with the red dough, I think. Knock out of the air and roll out using a rolling pin to form a rectangle. Chopping board is really slippery, so use the cloth to stop it from moving around. You can use your hands to pull out the edges to form a square, sharp, rectangular shape. It doesn't have to be too perfect, as we'll be showing you later on when we're slicing the edges off. It should be about 12 inches in length. Place into a mat or something that makes it easy to move the dough around and then cover with a damp cloth to stop the moisture from losing out. Make sure you smack out of the air from the dough as you roll out. We're going to roll out the orange dough next and then place it on top of the red dough. Spray the red dough with a little bit of water and then place the orange one on top. And cover with a damp cloth and repeat with all other doughs. Okay, once you've finally stacked up your bagel pieces and assembled it all together, using a sharp knife, cut the edges off. Place a pan with at least two inches of water on the stove. Add salt and bring it to the boil. Turn it down to a simmer. Also preheat the oven to about 190 degrees. Using a sharp knife to cut a two inch strip off the stack dough. And again, make sure to use a damp cloth to stop the moisture from leaving the dough. Now, oh, this is the fun part. Twist the dough to form a long sausage shape. You can twist as many times as you like. I like to give it about three or four twists. Wrap the dough around your hand and break off the excess dough. Roll the join gently onto a worktop to seal the ends. 
pop the bagels to one side and then form the rest of the bagels. Okay, once you've made all your bagels, it's time to get the hot water back onto the boil. Make sure you've added two teaspoons of salt. Once all the bagels are ready, gently drop about two or three into the simmering water. After about 30 seconds, turn them over and cook on the other side for another 30 seconds. Make sure you don't put them in any longer than this, otherwise they'll boat and rise in the oven. Using a spoon, remove the excess water and place onto a cooling rack. Once all the bagels have been boiled, pop them onto a baking tray and place into the oven. Bake them at 190 for about 25 minutes. Once cooked, remove from the oven and place in a cooling rack to cool down. Delicious, freshly baked bagels. Honestly guys, these were so simple and easy to make. For a long time now, I've always been wondering how to make these. And it's always baffled me. You gotta give it a try. Enjoy these bagels with your favourite filling. I like cream cheese and chive. You can even put cinnamon and sugar in it if you wanted to with some butter or any filling of your choice. Thanks for watching this episode of Marjan's Kitchen. Please like and share and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Do follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. The recipe and description of how to make these bagels are in the box below.